Next we will have Dr. Al Oshevsky, candidate for United States Senate. All right, it's almost to the end of this baseball game. We're, we're just finishing, we're going into the bottom of the ninth inning, okay? So thank you for being here. It is amazing to look across this crowd and to watch that we have multiple generations here. And I can tell you, I'm here today as a citizen and a resident of Montana, and what I'm seeing today is not a passing of a torch, but a sharing of a torch with our next generation. And I wanna thank you very much, gentlemen, for bringing us here, because it is time to share the torch and to protect our Constitution, as well as the rights of our Bill of Rights. Thank you for being here. As we come to an end, let us refocus. We are here because there has been tragedy in our communities, most recently in Parkland, Florida. And as a result of evil, there is a movement to say that it is our weapons, our firearms, a tool is the problem. And that evil comes from an inanimate object, a piece of metal. And we are here today to say it is not. Evil comes from the heart of men. Evil will come from the heart of women. It is not the tool, it is the evil inside the person. We don't have to look back as far as Greek or back to Athens and Sparta. But that lesson goes on and on and on. And just 23 years ago, April 19th, 1995, Oklahoma City. I was an Air Force officer, a surgeon in San Antonio. I was called out of surgery with a patient still open and sent to Oklahoma City. One and a half hours after that explosion, I was setting up a trauma hospital in Tinker Air Force Base. And we were there to help take care of the casualties. We sent a scout team down to the command center and as we got ready and prepared to take care of the wounded we were told to stand down stand down they said we asked why they said the explosion at the alfred murray building was so devastating that there were no wounded they either had cuts and scratches or they were dead that day 168 people, 168 Americans died, 19 of them preschoolers. Was it a gun? Was it an AR-15? No, it was diesel fuel and fertilizer. It was not the tool. It was the evil inside somebody that took those lives and caused that tragedy that day. So, thank you for being here today, standing with us for our Constitution, for the Second Amendment, and for all amendments. And to remind people, it is not the gun. It is the evil inside, those that wish to harm us. And today, we can only be free as a society if we remember and we pledge to each other the end of the Declaration of Independence, that we stand together, mutually pledge our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor. And only with that will we truly be free. I stand here today with you and with them. I pledge my life, my fortune, and my sacred honor Do you pledge your life, your fortunes, and your sacred honor. Yes or no? Yes. I didn't hear you. Yes or no? God bless you. God bless America. And let's hear it from the guys. <laughs>